I met this guy downstairs from the hostel. And first I found him in the box, but I thought that the mummy was coming back. And the next morning I still saw him in the box, but people were starting to toss garbage in that box. So I guess the mom never came back, he was never fed, and people started to neglect him. The, the thing is, when I was feeding him, I kind of realized that half of his tail actually got chewed off, so it's dangling. He was basically covered in, in fleas and stuff, so he must have got shredded up by something. Maybe it's a, a dog attack. So I took him to the vet, and they got rid of the dead part of the tail when I first took him to the hospital. Uh, we had to wrap him up in a liner just to keep things clean. And they said, oh, burrito cat, because it was like burritoing a cat by wrapping him up. I can't leave him alone because the wound was at the tail and it's very hard to secure a bandage onto a tail without it falling off. So I trained myself to sleep like this. So he's right here. And if he crosses my arm, then I feel something that's wet. Then I know, oh, a bandage fell off then I would just jump up and I'm like, oh my God. And I would just wrap it back up again. So I walk around with a medical kit. So whenever that bandage falls off, then I'm like just on the spot and I just have all his stuff ready and I'm just changing it. Like mom's changing diapers. Uh, so I have to keep my eyes on him pretty much 24 seven. So when I go to work, I take him to work. When I go to a restaurant, I take him to a restaurant, but he's very social because cause he goes like everywhere I go because I have to change his bandage. Hong Kong is not exactly pet friendly. I think part of him knows that some places he shouldn't be in and he doesn't move and people think that it was a baby that was sleeping so they just let me go in. <laughs> and that will undo any healing that happened. It's actually uh, what we did for the year and a half and here he is, He's doing good. Burrito, he's got a girlfriend now. Her name is Strawberry. It was love at first sight for her, but not for him. He absolutely hated strawberry, like so much that he was hissing and spitting at her. But I, I think a month later, they just fell in love. Yeah, and now they're inseparable. His journey was super long. There's already six cats in the house. They just somehow knew that they had to be extra gentle with him. And even when they play fight with him, I noticed that they would nip him anywhere but the tail. Um, he's very bonded with me because I've known him since he was like less than two weeks old. He knows sometimes when I just give him like the look or when I'm doing something, then he can kind of anticipate. He's like, oh, you know what? Time to jump in the bag. You know, time to sit in this position. I'm just doing what like any parent would do. Seriously. He's my hero too. Actually, he inspires me to do a lot of difficult things in life.